Hi, my name is Jeff Barry, and this is my wife, Michelle. We've been married for 23 years and have two children, our son, Joseph, who's in college, and our daughter, Kristen, who has special needs and requires full-time care. We are her primary caregivers. Both Michelle and I want to share how the Holy Trinity and Mother Mary have been leading us to a deeper virtuous life and deeper sacrificial love with each other and our family through our own personal relationship with them. We want to share some experiences that we have had this past year. As I was praying about this testimony, I received the following scripture. In Ephesians 5, verses 25 to 28, it says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her that he might sanctify her. Marriage is a sacrament. It is a beautiful gift from God. It also takes work and commitment. In journaling with Jesus, I felt him say, my child, I see you as love, as a husband and father that strives for holiness, who wants to improve himself by fully surrendering in prayer and seeking me in all things. I will always give you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it. You are my vessel of love. When you surrender yourself and allow this to happen, you live out my commandment of love in your marriage and your family. Then you radiate my light and love to your spouse and children. You are truly in me and I in you, in love. There are times that Michelle might say something that hurts me or angers me. Sometimes it causes me to lose my patience with her or the situation. It's then I have to take a breath, step back, and receive God's love. It is not always easy to do in the heat of the moment. I find that the times I do take it to the Lord, He gives me the grace I need at that moment so I can be loved to her. And when I journal with the Lord, I find it's usually rooted in a wound that needs healing. Hi. I want to share some experiences I've had this past year, especially my retreat that I had a few months ago. My retreat was beautiful, powerful, and I received many graces. I experienced a deeper gift of the Heavenly Father's unconditional love for me through Our Lady. She helped me to receive graces that brought deeper healing in my true identity as their beloved child. I also experienced him as a good, good father, gentle and kind. On retreat, when journaling with Our Lady about her hopes for me, I felt her say, my sweet little daughter, I love you and I am always with you to help and guide you to grow deeper with the Holy Trinity and in your vocation as a wife and mother, in patience and in love. And that is exactly what she did and much more. I experienced deeper love and healing through Our Lady and their love is helping me to live out more. John 13, 34, where Jesus said, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you. I understood more deeply that it is all about His love by bringing my heart to Our Lady and to the Lord for healing. The more I can open up my heart to God's love, the more I freely can give it away to Jeff and my family. As a husband and father, I personally experience, as we all do, life's daily struggles. Family, marriage, work, finances, etc. There are daily battles with the enemy. It is easy to be pulled in so many directions being in the world, but not of the world. For me, these daily struggles are definitely a part of our life, our marriage and our family. For example, Michelle 
has many things on her plate during the day, and so do I. Michelle may need to ask me a question or need me to do something. If my response isn't loving and I take it to prayer, Jesus shows me the areas I need to improve on. And I find it's a daily thing because it's a continual call to holiness in marriage. Mary showed me to surrender daily to her immaculate heart. That my heart, my hurts, my sorrows, everything I experience is known to her and God. When brought to Jesus, his grace flows through her heart for me to experience healing in his love and to live that love in my marriage and family. In Corinthians 13, 4, where it says, Love is patient, is the virtue that the Holy Trinity and Our Lady is helping me grow in. It's the little things that I find when I lose my patience with Jeff, my family, or myself, because I'm not responding in the Father's love. For example, when I don't choose to be patient and love in a situation, I lose my peace and things never end up well. I say or do things that are hurtful to Jeff and my family. I try to take control and do it on my own. The Lord showed me this happens when I'm not receiving in prayer, especially receiving his love. There are definitely days that we are lacking in the virtue of love, especially patience. But it's our desire to keep going back in prayer before the Lord and Our Lady and ask for the grace needed to be their vessel of love and grace for God and each other to grow in holiness together. One example when I took this to prayer with Our Lady about losing my patience with Jeff earlier that day. In journaling, I was really honest expressing how I felt with Our Lady. She helped me understand that I was resentful and angry at God for not giving me the help that I felt I needed. Then I felt Jesus' presence, and I experienced with Jesus his deep desire for me to completely trust in him. Also, Jesus tenderly assured me that he was with me carrying the cross. I was not alone. I received his love in my heart. Then I was able to release it and place it in his hands. I also find this is where my healing begins and continues through obedience to stand on my true identity as their beloved daughter. I find when I choose to be patient, things work out much better because I am choosing to trust the Lord and stand on my true identity as their beloved child. For example, there was a situation where I chose the virtue of patience by not responding in what I felt should be done. Instead, I took it to Our Lady with prayer, to prayer. She showed me what the Father's desire was in this matter and how to pray for Jeff and I to come into agreement. And a few months later, the prayer was answered. The Father's will was done. Our Lady has played a significant role in our marriage and was instrumental in bringing us together. We have entrusted ourselves and our marriage to her. Marriage is indeed sacrificial. Together, we are one in Christ and in love, putting the other person first. It is not always easy, especially in the stressful situations of life. It's a battle, but we don't give up. Michelle and I go to weekly adoration to strengthen our relationship with the Lord and each other. We do our best to take it to the Lord. He is the healer. When we do this, that's when we get the grace. That's when we're sanctified. That's when we're made holy. We do this with the help and guidance of the Holy Spirit and through Our Lady's Immaculate Heart and also through St. Joseph's intercession. 
In love, we allow the Lord to be the center of our marriage and family. This does require suffering and sacrifice. It is a process. Both Jeff and I found it's only through being filled daily with his love, virtue, and daily forgiveness of either self, each other, or God. Then Jesus can pour more of his love into our hearts to love one another as he has loved us. It is truly about striving and growing in holiness and loving and living the new commandment of love. Thank you and God bless you.